How's it going everybody? My name is Dan Anderson with Autosynthetic.com. I'm an independent Amsoil dealer. Today I got my Amsoil heavy duty degreaser out. I just came in the mail. I ordered it, ordered it um, to clean off my uh, Porsche 928 S4 around the differential, the transmission, basically underneath the entire car and everywhere in the engine bay. I got a uh, uh, either some kind of cake down grease, looked like burnt oil everywhere. Uh, I tried uh, brake cleaning solvent, you know, like some generic uh, carburetor solvent. Uh, that worked a little bit, uh, but there's just stuff that it's not, that uh, generic solvent's not uh, basically taken off. I mean, it looks looks like a, it's just caked on there really bad. And uh, this product looked really interesting. I want to try it out, uh, put a review on the internet. Uh, there was uh, one gentleman, um, I'll, I'll try and find that video again and put his name in the credits. Uh, he did a test on his driveway. Uh, it looked like it had a lot of potential, but I wanted to see it on an actual car uh, like most of you guys would in uh, car parts for that matter. So um, I'm going to basically take a few clips here and there of uh, different items I'm going to clean off. I, <clears throat> the general instructions, you're going to spray it on uh, what you want to clean for and let it soak in for one or two minutes. You're gonna wipe it off with a clean cloth. Uh, there might be some residual residual uh, contaminants on there. You're gonna spray it off again. Uh, if it's really bad, you're gonna repeat if necessary. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, <clears throat> again, you can get this from my website, autosynthetic.com or some of the links below. Uh, it does increase the price. It helps me uh, make more videos. Now with uh, any kind of cleaning product, I just want to throw this out there, uh, any kind of chemicals, whether it's your car or your household, you want to look at the uh, safety data sheet. They used to be called material safety data sheets. It's going to have the recommended uh, personal protective equipment or PPE. Uh, it's going to say if you need uh, like, like a splash shield, goggles, gloves, what type of gloves. Um, household chemicals are pretty much a lot more worse, I would assume, than this. But you always want to be safe. You never know um, if you have this stuff soaking in your skin uh, every day for years. There might be some adverse effect. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, the first part I'm going to test this on. Uh, this is like a, um, it looks, looks like a heat shield that went uh, on the back of my differential. Because the differential is very close to the exhaust. You know, I'm sure a Porsche enthusiast is probably, uh, you know, we're getting ready to punch me now because there's some technical name for this. Uh, look, it just the design of it looks like it's just to shield heat. I, I uh, before I sprayed brake uh, uh, brake solvent cleaner on here, and um, it got a light layer off. But as you can see, this area right here, I had to basically scrape off really hard. Um, I, I use a lot of uh, pressure. Um, I had to use uh, non-metallic scrapers such as wood and plastic pieces. Uh, this is, I mean, this is just grime and uh, nasty stuff. Uh, looks like 30 years of buildup that no one's, um, you know, no one's cleaned off. Uh, I like doing uh, products to myself because when you take your car into uh, like the average dealer or car mechanic, they're not going to take this part off and uh, clean up your entire area, drain your fluid, and... Uh, you know, put new food in. They might clean off near the fill or drain ports a little bit, uh, you know, but then you still have this caked up on here. So we'll take the can, spray it, uh, see if it gives me any instructions on how, how to shake it. I'll, I'll just shake it for a, a few seconds. Now, I read that this smells uh, like a citrus smell. I got a stuffy nose right now. Um, but I should be able to smell it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it smells a lot better than brake fluid. Alright. I'm just taking it off. off the cap right now. Okay. Alright, so I just sprayed it. Now I'm going to wait a minute. Or two minutes, probably better.
Now this is actually a pretty good uh, when, you, when you think about a uh, component test because uh, one of the exhaust pipes is is uh, pretty fairly close to it, and it, you know it's a perfect example of uh, some kind of oil or I don't know if it's, it was transmission fluid, differential fluid, or um, grease. Um, and just over time, it got on there. Uh, it got baked on there from the exhaust. More came on there. It just kept getting baked on. When you drive, uh, basically dirt and uh, other contaminants um, uh, just stick on there and it just gets heated on. It's really nasty. I think it's been two minutes. <clears throat> I'll just do this one right here. Wow, this actually uh, came off pretty easy. <laughs> and again, this is uh, years of, uh, you know, just stuff getting baked on here. So I, I don't expect this to instantly come off, but I, mean, I just took a pretty big chunk off. I should be wearing gloves right now. Wow, yeah, it definitely works. Uh, obviously, on this item, I'm gonna have to repeat because it's just like you know, if you could see the how thick of a layer it is, it's just a bunch of thick layers of junk. No, gravity doesn't seem to be my friend here. Basically, the if you could have it uh, not drip off the the area, it's gonna have a better effect on uh, breaking uh, breaking apart the junk. Try to hold this camera at the same time. Oh yeah, so this is a lot easier to clean. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like lightly doing this with my finger. Uh, before, um, like this caked on material right here, I would have to just press down really hard to get any off, but now it's, a lot of it's just coming off fairly easy. Yeah, like I, yeah, this is uh, breaking off a lot easier. I mean, I think this is a good product. Uh, so basically, uh, whatever doesn't come off now, I'm going to uh, reapply the product. I'm gonna pause for a minute because it's, it's just too hard to uh, hold my phone and you know try and spray and clean. All right, now I'm gonna spray the backside. Uh, I didn't really, uh, I didn't get all the this side. Uh, Initially, all the stuff off on the first try, but I got a great deal of it off, and uh, I'm obviously gonna put more product on here. Uh, this side, um, I haven't touched so far. I'm gonna spray it on. Wait, wait the two minutes. Yeah, 
nasty. Just doing our close ups here. Now, even though my nose is my nose is uh, kind of congested right now, I can still smell it. Uh, I, it is citrus. It's, it's not like the nasty, uh, uh, you know, solvent smell you're gonna get. Yeah, this thing is dirty. No, as I get more uh, computer software and uh, basically learn how to use the software, I'm going to make more, uh, you know, more videos, but uh, you basically edit the videos out so I can have a clip of before and after photos. Um, again, on the other side, I know you still saw some other product left on there. I wasn't pressing down hard. Uh, I'm pretty amazed that it was able to loosen off those layers that can and then just flaked off. Uh, it, it seems like a really great product. And again, uh, I was using a, a, a solvent, which is pretty pretty common for people to clean with solvents. They usually do a great job, but it just wasn't breaking off the grease, you know, the grease, the grime that's been burnt on there. And I don't want to get too dirty right now because I'm I'm in uh, I'm not wearing uh, coveralls or uh, something I would normally work on a car with. So it's been close to two minutes. So I'm just gonna. Should this is a uh, also this is a um a detailing cloth as well. Uh, it's not a uh, it's not like a a Scotch Brite or anything. It's pretty soft and uh, you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people are laughing right now. Like you know, know why you're using that cloth. All right, so I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna uh, basically press down and run through and and again this is 30 years of of grime. You know just uh, with heat. And that's that's a big thing. It's not like you, uh, it's not like it's not like I spilled uh, some oil on you know on on the lid of my trunk where there's absolutely no heat or something. This is um, some kind of used oil. Uh, dirt's been getting kicked up for thirty years on, on the car on the you know on the little piece, and it's been getting heated. Yep. Yeah, it took off a lot. And then what I hear. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so uh, for this cover, I uh, you know, I reapply a little bit more and uh, I let it soak for more than two minutes. It's, you know, it's, it's still on there. Uh, I mean, you can tell I haven't touched any of this junk. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, so I would say the um, the one to two minute penetration time uh, on the side of the bottle. Depending what you're cleaning, it might not be enough a time, uh, you know, to let it soak in. But, uh, you know, I, I put a pretty good amount on here, uh, let it soak more than uh, two minutes, and it looks like it's doing a, a pretty good job. You know, um, I don't want to waste too much time on this one part because uh, I want to show you guys, you know, different, you know, just random parts uh, that you guys might be cleaning. Um, not too many of you have a. Uh, um, you know, a rear end or rear differential you want to clean off. Some of you are more interested uh, underneath the engine bay. Um, the Porsche 928 has a transaxle transmission and uh, it's actually located in the back of the car. Uh, not everyone's car is like that. So, um, yeah, we'll just go to a different part. Uh, again, the more you put on uh, and let it soak in, uh, the longer it's going to uh, help you help dissolve and break up the stuff and make it easier to clean. Uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Um, uh, this isn't uh, some kind of as seen on TV, um, uh, instantly uh, dirt be gone product. Um, I don't think that's possible. Uh, I have used solvent tanks before. Uh, I, w I would say uh, some kind of heated chemical in, a, in some giant expensive tanks uh, probably gonna hands down be better than this 
but you can't put your entire car in some cleaning solvent tank that heats up. So uh, for what it is, I think it's a very good product. Again, we're going to do some more tests. All right, so I'm underneath my car. Uh, this is the differential right here. Um, the area is already cleaned. Uh, I had to use a lot of force, uh, like a scotch right, um, you know, wooden plastic to scrape uh, a lot of the, uh, you know, the gunk off. That's, you know, you can see at the edges over there. Um, uh, show the car. That's the transmission. The way in the front is the engine. I'm just uh, uh, spraying it where I can spray it. It's kind of a weird car to work on. You know, I'm going to take the uh, cover off and replace the gasket in there. So I want the area around it to be as clean as possible. Oops, turn. Kind of uh, on and off raining today, so I have to stop and run in when it starts raining. My garage is dirty today, so I can put my car in. See that, that grime on there? And when I get done cleaning, I'm gonna have to make sure um, I'm gonna have to look in the uh, shop bays to see which components on this particular car uh, might even need to get some grease somewhere. Uh, just you know, just to be safe. So you, you can see um, in this area right here where I had to take a uh, probably a screwdriver to scrape away all the grime. And uh, you know, again, this is this is an exhaust, um, you know, one of the exhaust pipes running here. Kind of a weird design. Gotta be careful so the really, uh, stuff goes into your eyes. Kind of hard to get to the just the way this car is built to get on top of uh, the differential because it's a very tight spot. All right, so uh, I, I let the, let the uh, heavy duty heavy duty degreaser uh, sit on for a few minutes. Uh, now I'm just gonna wipe some off again. Uh, this area right here, I previously cleaned off. I had to scrape off. Uh, you know, it was pretty hard to scrape off with uh, wooden plastic. Uh, you don't want to use metal on metal because that can uh, gouge the uh, existing metal surface on your car. All right. Yeah, so I can tell this is uh, loosening up the material enough to take it off. Um, this is, I'm not using a scotch brite. This is a, uh, like a terry cloth, like uh, something you put a wax on a car with. Uh, you know, the cloth, the, the uh, green cloth that I have in my hand. Uh, it's not made for, uh, Cling off rhyme so uh obviously if i were to use a scotch braid um it'd be a little bit more abrasive but it did definitely take off uh more contaminants um it seems to be uh taking stuff off pretty good just i mean there's still some uh caked up material on there 
No, it's not. And it's kind of a weird surface to um, work with because uh, my hand's getting stuck in, uh, uh, in between everything. All right, so there's a little piece right there. Yeah, it's pretty, it takes off pretty good. Um, my fingernail can actually fit in there, but I'll just get this stuff off in the center. Uh, here's a bolt. Yeah, so it's like a little elbow, a little elbow grease is required. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the more caked and burnt up the stuff's on, the longer it's been uh, building up on there, the the more work you're gonna have to put in. Oh yeah, this is really good. Yeah, even the uh, the like tannish, you know, I would just say it's grease that's burnt up on here. Um, this isn't a quick swipe off, but uh, just flaking off my fingernail, it's it's a lot easier than it was with uh, just the brake cleaning, cleaning solvent. I can tell it like it loosened it up more. Uh, this is one of the areas I'm gonna have to um, uh, obviously reapply the material and uh, you know uh, scrub it off. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Oh, j uh, just so you know, that that's the speedometer right there, a uh, speedometer. Um, uh, to take off this uh, differential cover, you need to, uh, you know, loosen that up and uh, just pop it off. And if you put it on backwards, it won't work. That's something the uh, transmission rebuilder did. He put on backwards, and I ended up buying a new one because I thought the old one was broken. This is like a cross member. Uh, Clean off pretty good. It's nice and shiny. Yeah, some more caked up, like really caked up stuff. Um, again, I can tell this is definitely loosened up on the uh, really, really bad part. Really, really, really bad parts. Yeah, there's like. A lot of grime everywhere and I want a clean car because it's easier to work on and remove components yeah. can't really fit my finger in that crevice I mean it's where I can't fit in there it's taking a lot of stuff off Thank you. 
I mean, when I'm done with this, is you're gonna, you're not gonna be able to tell it's been a, you know, a 30 year old car. Um, it's already starting to look uh, pretty, pretty new. Uh, most car owner, owners don't clean underneath the, the bottom of the car. This is probably the uh, one of the dirtiest spots on your car. It's a very bottom, especially if you have years of oil dripping and burning up on there. Look at one of these random spots. This swipe. Yeah. I guess yeah, it's like I don't know what the stuff is, but it's really thick. It's on there, it's everywhere. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to move to a different uh, spot. Or, uh. Yeah, it's a little kicked up on there. Yeah, so as I go through this car, I basically, uh, you know, I clean off everything that I uh, work on. Eventually, the whole car is going to be uh, rebuilt, but I like making sure everything's spotless. I'm going to have to come back with, um, uh, like, some kind of Q-tips, because uh, areas like this, you know, I can't fit my finger in there to... Uh, like brush off any of the material. And this, I mean, again, this is one of the worst spots that could get dirty because if you look, it's pretty close to the ground. So when you drive, um, dust and debris gets kicked up in there and uh, whatever grease uh, just absorbs it. Any oil is just absorbs it and it sticks on there and it bakes on. Right, uh, I mean, the, uh, in the engine bay of the, um, Porsche 928. Uh, I'm just gonna hit up a few spots uh, just to show you how good this cleaner is. Uh, we'll just go. I'll go ahead and spray this area over here. Uh, this, this car's been sitting up for a while. I was in the middle of a, a basically selling one place and buying another, and I had to move this car parked for a while. Looks like solid mud, basically. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and uh, just wipe it off. I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna don't have to too much time to um, uh, do this up here where the actual engine is. Uh, this is not really that, that dirty. Um, I, I, I take pretty good care of the engine uh, when I. Uh, Took the intake manifold off. I, uh, you know, I took it off. I took it apart, stripped everything down. I powder coated it. Um, everything that you could replace, I did replace on it. Uh, I, I'm actually building another Porsche 928 engine um, uh, in my garage, and uh, I'm probably going to use this intake manifold and uh, 
Uh, when I put it back in, I'm just gonna replace the fuel rails. I'm definitely gonna use the cylinder heads off this engine and uh, rebuild those as well. All right, so I'm going back outside um, in a couple minutes. Just gonna wipe off the area. That's actually RTV from a different project. So, I mean, that's not going to come off unless I, unless I really put some pressure on it. Yeah, that blue stuff is RTV. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good product. Um, you know, the more kicked up it is, the more uh, time we had to put up in it. Let me just look around for my driveway for an oil spot. I don't think I have any. Yeah, it's a new house, uh, not new, but I just bought it. The last guy I actually did grease the driveway, so I don't have any. Uh, I thought I, I thought it had some grease spots on the ground, but I don't. And my garage has the, uh, an epoxy coating, so I just, if anything spills, I just wipe it off. But, uh, you know, I definitely clean up the engine bay where I applied it to. Uh, uh, underneath the car, um, it did a pretty good job. Uh, that's probably the worst area. Um, I definitely could have put some more time. Uh, it was some more, uh, some more pressure. Uh, but they really caked off uh, areas that didn't come off the first time. It, uh, I, I felt it was easier to take off after using the heavy, heavy duty degreaser. I'm just gonna have to put some more on and uh, probably use the scotch spray on some of the really bad areas. Uh, that The other component that you, the uh, heat shield cover that you saw earlier, that, they came off pretty good. 
Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the product. Uh, that's the uh, Anzol heavy, du heavy duty degreaser. Uh, I heard good things about it. I mean, I, I, I just used it now and I like it. Uh, I definitely will order some more in the next, you know, the next time I oil, order oil or, or uh, another group product. It, it's not really economical just to order one bottle. Uh, you know, just the next time you go and buy oil or oil filters for your car, you know, just add it to your shopping cart so you uh, save some money on the shipping. Uh, it's a pretty, I mean, it's really good. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, what I, another thing I like about it, it's not like a, a really harmful sm uh, smell like some of the solvent cleaners. Um, this smells like a citrus, like, you know, it's not, it's not some kind of organic things you buy at Sprouts, but it, it's definitely a lot, um, uh, the, the, the Vought content's going to be a lot lower. It, it's, it's pretty good. I uh, just give it a shot. Uh, tell me what you think.